guys welcome to another video thank you for subscribing uh, if you have not subscribed please subscribe hit that button and subscribe so today i'm with uh, toyota ist ist i'm with Omoli and david yes uh, uh, the car had a leakage in the gearbox and i thought of doing a video about uh, the many leakages that our vehicles have uh, either it's a personal car, a public transport or a lorry uh, a leakage is not good for a car especially a private car, private personal car is not good because uh, you use it daily you use it daily so when you get a leakage in the engine you know an engine uh, is lubricated by oil all the, all the parts in the engine uh, should be lubricated because there is frequent turning, turning, so there should not be any friction at any point whatsoever. If you have friction in your engine, then you're done. You get your engine, the engine will not, and it, it won't work. After engine, you'll have to replace so many unnecessary things which can be avoided by doing the right thing at the right time. So if you get a liquid, there are two types of liquids. There's a mild liquid and there's severe liquid. Mild liquid, where you get two drops, each morning when you come, you see two drops or one drop. Uh, that's not normal still, but it's not in the urgency point. But if you have that severe leakage where you get like uh, where you park is full of oil, you will have to get your car checked uh, with professionals so that it's repaired immediately. You can have either the crankshaft seal, the camshaft seal, the top cover gasket or the uh, sump is leaking. Those are the major, the major, or the oil pump seal. Those are the major, the major culprits of engine leaks. So you can have a car check. If it's the gearbox, maybe it's the panning seal or the torque converter seal. So you have to get it checked so that you don't run out of ATF, so, uh, which will spoil your gearbox. Getting a new gearbox is definitely very expensive, especially for German cars, and even these other Japanese cars. So any car, uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't entertain a leakage. Have it sorted right away by the right guy. Uh, what else? Uh, if you suspect you have a leakage, have your engine washed thoroughly. Have your engine washed and then you take it on top of a ramp. You observe the car while it's running. If you see a consistent drop, you'll know you have a leakage. And then you can now take it to a garage to get it fixed. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'll appreciate more. Tell me what you think about the video. Tell me what you think about cars and tell me what you'd like to know or you want me to talk about in the next video. Out of Elud Kipchoge, uh, no human is limited. Do your best and always be yourself and believe in whatever thing that you are doing. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.